Hello friends, welcome back to the channel and to another plan with me video. Today I want to show you what I did in my bullet journal for March and of course I went with a green color scheme which is kind of a, an unwritten rule in the bullet journal community to do a green theme for March. So that's what I did of course and I chose to do a let's call it enchanted library theme. Basically a really old library that is overgrown with all kinds of plants and moss and stuff. And I just kind of drew what I imagine a mysterious library in a fantasy book to look like. And after I was done drawing I actually realized that this theme has a lot of similarities with multiple themes I've done in my bullet journal before. I put them on the screen here. So yeah, we're not being super creative, super original this month, but that's okay. But if you are also doing a green theme for this month, put it down in the comments below. I would love to know your theme. For my calendar spread I did a simple calendar grid as usual and then decorated the page with my hanging plants and the moss growing kind of from the top of the page and then added another small bookshelf at the bottom of the page, added some more books and of course some more plants. For my note spread and my budget tracker I'm doing again what I did for my February spreads. I am using the same decoration for both pages. In this case I am adding it to the middle of the two pages and it's just another big bookshelf with lots and lots of plants.
for my habit tracker I am using my calendar stamps again this month and I am making all my habits look like they are printed inside of books that are kind of laying there opened and I'm surrounding that with some more books that are closed and some more of my vines and plants and moss and I am tracking five habits in total this month. And for my mood tracker I'm using the mood wheel again. It's a really easy layout that I always like to do. Except this time I am making each of the little compartments in the wheel look like they are books, kind of spreading out from the middle. And I'm decorating that with plants all around. And for my last spread in this video I am doing my first weekly spread for March and this is once again my favorite layout. I feel like I always do this particular weekly spread layout in my videos just because I like it so much and I think it's always the prettiest. But of course it only works out if you're doing a weekly with less than seven days uh, but that worked out just fine for this one and I am of course decorating everything with my plant doodles and my books. Alright friends, this is it for my March 2022 bullet journal setup. Here is the full flip through of all the spreads. I hope you like the theme I came up with and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more videos. Until then, I hope you stay healthy, you stay safe and you stay creative. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!